I wanted to do it because, honestly, it's like my dream job. It's something that, as a kid, I've always wanted to do, and uh, it, it really is like a, a boy's dream. I'm playing a, a knight, and I get to ride horses, and I get to fight with a sword. And it's really, it's really fun. The show is called Nightfall, and it's about the, the Knights Templar, which I'm sure a lot of people have um, a lot of information and in their own ideas about. And so the show is about the deconstruction of, of that history. It's not set during the Crusades, it's set in Paris, 15 years after they lost Acre, which was their, their last stronghold in the Holy Land. And it's about the kind of fall of the Templars and it, it, the, the series will at some point reach the, the Friday the 13th, which is when the uh, Templars in, in Paris were disbanded, dissolved. Um, and I play a character called Landry de Luzon, um, who unexpectedly is thrust into becoming the leader of the, the Templars. And it's about his journey. And he's a guy that is struggling with his faith and his position within inside the Templars. Uh, he blames himself for losing the Holy Grail in the Holy Land and has spent 15 years looking for some kind of retribution or redemption and he's unable to do that and then suddenly the Holy Grail there's whispers that it's actually still around and so he goes on a hunt to try and find it whilst also battling with his inner conflicts. I feel when doing a historical piece like this you have to do a lot of groundwork you know you have to know the territory that you're standing on I feel that you have to be very respectful of of that history and so that was a that was a very fascinating process I, I, I often wonder if it would be grueling but it, it wasn't it was incredibly fun kind of delving into the world of these these men and uh, physically it was it was very tough I have to wear chainmail nearly every day which is I mean, I can't even tell you how heavy it is. It's, it's so heavy. <laughs> and uh, so physically, we had to be very prepared, but I also had to learn how to horse ride and sword fight. And just carry yourself like a man who has been to war since the age of 10. When you're doing a period piece, and almost a genre piece, you have a lot more room to really play. Um, you can play with much bigger emotions. It doesn't have to be grounded in kind of mumble core kind of realism. And so you're able to play these huge, huge, huge moments and these huge, huge characters. And yeah, the what you're wearing and, and the world that, you're, that you live in really grounds you in something that is, you don't have to act. We, we built, uh, we had the biggest sets in, in Europe, we built medieval Paris and uh, our costume designer is extraordinary and our makeup designer is extraordinary and so you put that stuff on and you're there, you don't have to do anything really. And actually what it does is it kind of, it, yeah it fills you up, it aids you in, in and stepping into these guys' shoes, it's a thrilling experience. I remember on the first day that we shot on the back lot in Paris, we had uh, 350 extras. And uh, the sets, they've, they've built shops and every shop was filled and they've given each extra a job with inside. So they, we created a community on set and I have to ride through Paris on my horse. I mean, it just, it, you can't see the cameras and it is as if you've just travelled back in time and you don't have to do anything. It's, it's, a, it's a really amazing, amazing, amazing experience. History is so important to me. It's, it, it, it's just, I think as, as a European it kind of vibrates in your very fibres. Um, and 
I have a huge amount of respect for history and the show does too. We've really worked very hard on making sure that everything is, is right. Um, but what's fascinating about the Knights Templar is that a lot of people know a lot about the Knights Templar, but there's a whole side of the Templars that we know nothing about. And the show kind of bridges that gap between being absolutely historically accurate, but then having fun and filling in those, those gaps. And I think that that's what history is. I think history is essentially interpretation. And so it's an interpretation with inside a very fixed set of rules. And, uh, and that's been really, really, really fun. So yes, I feel very responsible for the history, but also it's really nice to kind of have your say on what you think that history is and have your comment on it. And that's, um, that's been a really fun process. Mm. I think as somebody who likes watching television, it's a great time for television. I think that the way that it's moving, where you can access anything you want at any point, and you can kind of tailor the television that you want to watch, that makes it very exciting. As a viewer and as, as an actor, there's just a lot more freedom to, to choose stuff that you want to do. And what, also, what it also means is I think there's a lot more room for experimenting with inside television now there aren't you know you don't have to make sure that you hit all of these specific demographics with inside one tv show as you would if you were making it on a terrestrial channel you know you can really push every facet of the tv show as far as you want and that's that's exciting as an actor that's exciting because i get to you know i get to i don't have to play it safe and that's thrilling <laughs>